The coronavirus emergency is the first day of school for millions of kids in the largest district in the country. Yep, right here in New York City. Now, the FDA is cautioning parents about the vaccine. There is progress on the vaccine. Almost three quarters of eligible Americans have taken at least one dose. Stephanie Ramos starts us off from a school here in New York. Good morning, Stephanie. George, good morning. More than a million kids here in New York City will be back in the classroom this week as the country sees a rise in pediatric COVID cases. The FDA out with a stark warning as they try to work to approve a COVID vaccine for those under the age of 12. This morning, the FDA announcing it won't cut corners when it comes to evaluating the use of COVID vaccinations for children, cautioning parents not to seek out vaccinations ahead of FDA approval, saying in part, children are not small adults. According to the American Academy of Pediatrics and the Children's Hospital Association, more than a quarter of a million new COVID-19 cases were reported just in children two weeks ago, the highest number of weekly pediatric cases on record since the pandemic pandemic began. The Department of Health and Human Services says more than 2,500 children are currently hospitalized with COVID-19 nationwide. Pediatrician Dr. Brian Kornreich in Virginia says he's never seen anything like this. It's never been this crazy, never been this busy. It's exhausting all of us. And our biggest concern, of course, is that sick kids aren't getting the care they need. Steve Lance and his wife are vaccinated. He says his family of four caught COVID after his kids recently returned to school, where he suspects his third grade son picked up the virus, despite the school making masks mandatory. It was just that first week of lots of contact with other kids. And it's one of those things. You send your child to school, they're in a classroom, but they're not just in contact with everyone in that classroom. They're in contact with everyone that those classmates have come in contact with. According to the CDC, new data shows that unvaccinated people are 10 times more likely to be hospitalized and 11 times more likely to die from the virus than those who are fully vaccinated. Now, with President Biden doubling down on vaccines, mandating that businesses with more than 100 employees either require the shots or offer weekly COVID testing. The bottom line, we're going to protect vaccinated workers from unvaccinated co-workers. If we want our economy to be back, if we want our schools to stay in session, we've got to take steps to make sure workplaces and learning environments are safe. At least 19 Republican governors are condemning the move. At this hospital in upstate New York, so many employees have resigned over the state's mandatory vaccine policy that they have been forced to stop delivering babies. And if you're planning to travel by plane, be prepared to keep the mask on. TSA says they are increasing fines for people who violate the federal mask mandate from $500 to $1,000 for first-time offenders and up to $3,000 for second offenses. George. Okay, Stephanie, thanks. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.